took along Peter and the two sons of Zebedee and began to feel sorrow and distress. He said to them, My soul is sorrowful even to death. Remain here and keep watch with me. He advanced a little and fell prostrate in prayer, saying, My father, if it is possible, let this cup pass from me. Yet, not as I will, but as you will. When he returned to his disciples, he found them asleep. He said to Peter, So, you could not keep watch with me for one hour? Watch and pray that you may not undergo the test. The spirit is willing, but the flesh is weak. Withdrawing a second time, he prayed again. My father, if it is not possible that this cup pass without my drinking it, your will be done. Then he returned once more and found them asleep, for they could not keep their eyes open. He left them and withdrew again and prayed a third time, saying the same thing again. Then he returned to his disciples and said to him, Are you still sleeping and taking your rest? Behold, the hour is at hand when the Son of Man is to be handed over to sinners. Get up, let us go. Look, my betrayer is at hand. While he was still speaking, Judas, one of the twelve, arrived accompanied by a large crowd with swords and clubs, who had come with the chief priests and the elders of the people. His betrayer had arranged to sign with them, saying, The man I kiss is the one. Arrest him. Immediately he went over to Jesus and said, Hail, Rabbi, and he kissed him. Jesus answered him, Friend, do what you have come for. Then stepping forward, they laid hands on Jesus and arrested him. And behold, one of those who accompanied Jesus put his hand to his sword, drew it, and struck the high priest's servant, cutting off his ear. Then Jesus said to him, Put your sword back in its sheath, for all who take the sword will perish by the sword. Do you not think that I can call upon my Father, and he will not provide me at this moment with more than twelve legions of angels? But then how could the scriptures be fulfilled, which say that it must come to pass in this way? At that hour, Jesus said to the crowds, Have you come out as against a robber with swords and clubs to seize me? Day after day, I sat teaching in the temple area, yet you did not arrest me. But all this has come to pass, that the writings of the prophets may be fulfilled. Then all the disciples left him and fled.